Look at the camera though, look at the road. <laughs> we just came back from the Yellow Wolf and Slaughterhouse show, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was dope, it was dope, man. Yellow Wolf came out, did his thing, did about six songs, Slaughterhouse came what out. What was the best part about Yellow Wolf? They did, oh man, he's just so live. I mean, he just goes, just goes so, yeah, his cock. Mostly his cock, though. Other than his cock, he just goes so hard live, it's like... Describe going like hard got, live. He's just got so much like absolute hard. energy, and he raps so fast, and he has no hype, man. There's no one backing him up. It's just him doing it. There's no backing track. Yeah, just, I would say that's going just hard. Himself, just going dope, and it's like I think someone has there's so crush. much, there's so much uh, like perfection, I guess, that goes into his live show. Like every breath that he takes, he has to practice, you know, because the way he raps, the way he chops it up. Yeah, so I fast. heard that like. You know, he's been breathing for approximately about like 30 years, so he had a yeah, little bit got, of practice he's at been it. breathing for a minute, you know what I'm saying, so he does Okay, so well, what happened after Yellow Dog? I mean, I mean, Slaughterhouse came out and they definitely did their thing. What, what's Dog Slaughterhouse's so, thing? I mean, they just came out and ripped us. They are, there's four really lyrical dudes that come with a lot of energy. Name some lyrics. <laughs> Name some lyrics? Right. Um, Pussy. All about a dollar fuck for the set. Um, no, that's Shine, actually. What's okay. Shine? Um, One of the same. Shine is the realest rapper of all time. Sounds tight. Yeah, his, his dad's the president of... What country is he from? God, no. New Guinea? Yes, no, I just huh. made that up. But it's okay. something South America. So what is the best, what's the best part about Slaughterhouse the set? Um, uh, probably the best part was... Besides good. Eminem jumping out. But I, just, spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah. Hold on. Um... I mean, it was, they're, they're really entertaining dudes. Besides the fact that their music is phenomenal. I mean, they keep the crowd entertained. I mean, they keep people participating. And then they tell some jokes, or they yeah, do some stand-up up there for about jokes. 45 they were, minutes? They were definitely doing some stand-up. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Joe Budden was going in on that drunk white kid they brought on stage. Yeah, I felt really bad for him, actually, um, afterwards. I felt bad for him any time. No, I felt bad for the tiny the shirt. Yeah, Mark, Mike. Yeah, um, Mike, yeah, he was man. cool, though. He was a smart Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Mike. Big shout out to Mike. Mike and the, he washed his shirt one too many times. <laughs> so, tell me about how you felt when you saw Eminem. Oh, man. Eminem's. Out, what mean, is it? It's like, <laughs> it's like a lightning bolt at the tip of my penis. <laughs> Yowzas. <laughs> that, was actually, that was actually me hitting the tip of your penis. Oh. One of the same. Okay, so describe it. Describe it to me how. Oh, describe I mean, to me in slow mo. I mean, we all had the had the feeling that it might show up. Yeah, dude, I told you he was gonna show up. I've been telling you for two weeks. Yeah, being their first show and everything, but I mean, when you saw him come out, it's one of those moments. Like when you're there, it's just straight. You know, it's such a pure uh, like like it's like a lightning bolt hitting you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh my god, it's Eminem. Holy cow! But when you what, if when you I bet if we go home and watch it on YouTube tomorrow and all that. It's gonna be, like, be like, like such a touching moment. Yeah, because like, you were there, man. It was tight. Yeah. I wish that instead of Eminem showing up, that Jibs would have showed up. 